All right, I think I'm live. It's always hard to tell when sometimes your uh, computer decides to go uh, kaputs and it tells you that it's not working like it did just a second ago. So hopefully, right now we are on our way. I am still going to be doing uh, lessons at 12, uh, so I do hope you can join me. Uh, but this should just give us a little bit uh, easier time uh, with that lesson. We're just going to be reviewing some basic chords. Um, so... Uh, I'm super excited about that. I'm going to share this to my main page uh, right now so other people can see. Awesome. So I'm going right over here. So again, this is just a short lesson here. Um, we're going to be talking about guitar chords. And uh, yeah, let's just play already. Guitar chords. I'm getting really good at this PowerPoint thing. You can see I've definitely upped my game. Uh, so now instead of a little graph that I put together, I used Google and found... Uh, this thing, it's a guitar, or a picture of one, or a guitar neck rather, or part of it. Anyway, here are the string names, E, A, D, G, B, and E. So I would have kept them the same uh, color all the way through, uh, but I, I didn't realize that there's that little black thing in the, the middle, and I had to change the colors of the D and the G. Please forgive me. Okay. Uh, anyway... If you like to tune your guitar, I do suggest getting a guitar tuner or uh, go to Guitar Tuna, uh, which is a guitar app uh, that does make it really easy to tune whatever instrument you like, whether it's bass, guitar, or ukulele, or I think they have some other stuff on there. But that's a, uh, a good start. So there are a few chords you need to learn to really get started. Uh, there's not really that many. Um, so G major, C major, D major, D minor, E major, E minor, A major, A minor, and F major. Um, so you can play a million songs with that, or a billion songs with these, but that's not all. Let's just start with a few chords. Um, so we're, we're not even going to focus on those, I think it was nine chords. We're going to have, uh, we're going to learn these four, and actually we're not even going to learn A minor today, because, uh, G major, C major, D major, E minor, uh, that's the one, four, five, six of, um, uh, of the key and that really will play through most songs especially if you have a capo so if you don't have a capo you might want to go take a look into getting one otherwise you're going to be having to learn some bar chords and uh yeah those aren't aren't fun on the on the fingers but we'll get there though anyway let's go to the next slide here is your hand or uh, a shape of a hand um so take a look at the numbers. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. Your thumb is labeled as a T. That's not really uh, shown in the graph, uh, except for sometimes, so you can ignore that for now. Your pointer finger is 1, middle finger is 2, your ring finger is 3, and your pinky is 4. I don't know why they did that, but 4 decided to uh, jump over to the ring finger. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, so we're, we're just going to be learning the cheat chords. I, I, I like to call them cheat, but they're very common. Uh, this uh, there's a, a not as much uh, finger movement with if you play them this way they're not technically um, strictly these these chords but harmonically they work um, like so instead of a G we're gonna be learning a G six but it doesn't it it sounds fine um, so G major so middle finger is gonna be on the third fret on the sixth string or the E string your first finger or pointer finger is gonna be on the A string on the second fret, and then your third finger is going to be on the B string on the third fret. So that this is the this is the trickiest part in learning all of guitar right here is just getting your first chords down. Once you get these down, it's smooth sailing. Well, there I mean there's some other hard parts, but it's smooth sailing for now. E minor. Now check this out. G major, E minor, G major, E minor. They're really close to each other. C major. Now look at this. Let's go back to G major. See where your two and your one are? You're just moving them down. Ah, okay. So we're keeping the three there for all these chords. And look for D. D, same thing. You're just moving your one finger all the way down to the G, uh, to the G string on the second fret. So you see where your the the one is the uh, the one finger. Boom. It's always in the same fret for these chords. I'm a genius. Uh, <laughs> uh, so I got G major. I think this is a good uh, uh, thing to start practicing. So just go to G major, 
C major, G major, C major. It just sounds like this. I tuned this guitar just a second ago. It's fine. It's just a little bit out of tune. It's okay. Don't worry about it. G major, C major. Um, yeah, go, practice those a couple times and then run over to... Keep practicing that. <laughs> um, then we're going to do E minor. So G major, E minor, G major, E minor. I would suggest just trying as many different combinations as you can, but to start, try first the, the combination G to C, G to C, G to C, then go G to E minor, G to E minor, G to E minor, then C to E minor, then D to E minor. Try as many different combinations as you can. Then C major to D major. Ah, that was the last slide. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's go back up. So the goal, well, the goal is for these to all to be fluid. Um, let's go back over to the first. <laughs> this <is> dumb four. <laughs> what is that even? Just moves over there. <laughs> I got to get better at PowerPoint. Okay, I know I do. Um, but it's to play all these chords as quickly as possible. Um, I I really suggest, and uh, I've seen a lot of good success with this. Um, once you relatively have these chords down, um, even if you're really struggling, find uh, some kind of counter or metronome. Go to YouTube, find the slowest one possible, or just find one that's as at sixty uh, beats per minute, which is uh, exactly the clock. So if you have a clock nearby, just use that, um, and then play your your G chord and count to some really big number ten. One, two, three, four, five, all the way up to ten, and then play your C. Make sure that whole time you're getting your C chord ready, and then on ten or back onto one, switch back to one. One, two, three, four, five. That whole time, just get your your G ready, and then take one number off. Just count to nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One. And just start just incrementally making a little faster. That's why it's best if you have a clock or someone to uh, count for you. Um, and then no matter what, even if your fingers aren't ready, strum. Just go ahead and strum. Um, but anyway, I would love to see if you have any questions. Again, we're going to have a uh, lesson at uh, 12 o'clock. So go ahead and share this video. I'd love to see as many there as possible. And uh, yeah, I just talk about how to get through those first four chords. Um, and then just slowly you build up your fingers and you uh, memorize a few more and the patterns just start to emerge. So you're not having to re memorize chords every single time. Um, but they just have a, a logical progression to them. So anyway, uh, that's it for today. And I hope you guys have a good one and see you at 12. And find the end live video button.